Welcome to BMW Today. Today's topic, the brand new BMW i4 concept car. And with me is Domagoj Jukets, head of BMW Design. Welcome Domagoj. How did you guys mention to get this masterpiece in terms of design? I mean, I always question myself how you guys make a BMW even more sporty than the predecessor or whatever. Of course, it's easier to make a car sportier when it has great proportions. We have great architecture in BMW, and of course it helps to express it. So this is already 50% of the beef, let's say. In the front, it's of course the kidney, double kidney, and the headlights, which are very, of course, focused. Yeah, you see these headlights, which are more diagonal, with this double function, which are cut. It looks almost like an eagle eye. Domago, if I rip off the logo all over the place, and have a look at this, it still would be definitely a BMW. How, wh what is the secret formula for you guys? Uh, where is the BMW genetics? Even if you don't put a logo, people would reckon this as a BMW. As I mentioned, the, the kidney is very uh, strong identity, but in the side, I think what makes a BMW is often the, the, the proportion. There's a whole lot of designers around this world following your blog and your information. If you want to give them a cooking recipe to create their own good looking car, you know, in a nutshell, what are the main proportions, the main points, how to start design and uh, how to end it up from the front to the rear, out of your secrets? And I mentioned one thing, proportion is the most important thing. You can do a lot of lines on a car, but when the proportion is not right, it will never get the same attraction. So every line you use on a good design is actually to underline already the proportions which have a certain character. So what we did is we have one line here which is a little bit lower. So it, it brings actually the weight quite low because it shows here a lot of light. Yeah? So right. it's a shoulder which brings the weight and the center of gravity quite low. Then to, to, to pronounce the wheels, there's one line then, above. because on this surface, above, and it's like almost growing out. This whole volume is not the same surface like here. It's more like an added volume on top, yeah? like on a rally car. I've checked out the rear before you came, and I must say, this is stunning. I mean, if you have this in front of you guys, and I can see also those 3D-shaped tail lights. There's quite a lot of new elements in there, even there is no exhaust, you've put the diffuser, why is that? The whole rear is very simple and clean, you don't see any gaps, it's just very pure and full. Just one sharp line on the top, which uh, gives also this nice shadow area, which is also like a duck tail, and which is also very typical for BMW. And then uh, these two tail lights. BMW has this typical um, signature, which is always like an L-shaped. What is different, it's shaped as one single piece. Out of this whole signature, we can express all functions we want. So you see the red light, which is the normal rear light of the car. It's a signature. If you turn right or left, the indicator would go out of the same shape. And if you would brake, it would be also the same shape. It's all in one. One question about series and technology is the curved display. I'm actually a big fan of this one. Has this any chance to get to the series production? Yes, it, this is what you see here. This is what you're going to see also in the production okay. here. How do you guys get to this color? I mean, color makes such a difference, right? And that is the copper color we've been seeing in the i next already. You can see already that we played with copper color on the i8. M much stronger, brighter, as it's a sports car. And here it has this really pale, discreet, elegant uh, a touch. One last question on this one is, uh, you mentioned your team of designers, about 100. Um, when you're doing a design process like this, is there one that draws the sketch and people say, that's it? Or are you mixing the ideas of several design people into one vehicle? We are around uh, 700 designers for the whole BMW group. There are also engineers, which are just for us, for the design department. But the, the designers with me, they work all this, color and trim, interior, exterior. So also one third is just working on exterior, so not everyone. In the beginning of such a project, it's always a competition. And then let's say 10 designers would work on this car and they would sketch. 
Hmm? Everybody has his own ideas, uh, but of course all know what is the strategy. There is a certain BMW strategy and uh, people should also have this as a guideline. I don't say what should be where, but of course there's a certain um, cooking book yeah? what should be there to express as a BMW. Yeah? Finally, are you the one that goes thumbs up and thumbs down? At the end, um, it's my responsibility to say this is good, this is not, but it's, it's, still, uh, it's still a whole new um, an, an approach which, which takes a few weeks, months, because people come with great ideas and I have something in my mind, but of course it's all inspiration. So let's say everybody comes up with something and then you can just point out, okay, I think this fits well in the brief because there's a certain a brief uh, from sales and marketing because they order a certain product. I have to make sure that what we deliver is really that what was uh, ordered. I think that is a good statement. So it's like a small piece of crops you put into the soil, you add water for several weeks and then suddenly you find an i4 concept car in your garden. Thank you very much, uh, Domagoy. That was pretty much interesting to me as well. And thanks for watching BMW today. Thank you.